networking events, there's a disconnect. Uh, most people show up there wanting to sell, but nobody's there to buy. Mm. And so there's the disconnect in buying. Instead, you need to be there to make connections and build relationships. And yeah. That's really the purpose of, of networking. Absolutely. So uh, let's let's take it on a stage. You've, you've done your, uh, you, you've been to your open networking uh, mixer. You've perhaps met a couple of contacts you're interested in. It then comes down really to the follow-up, doesn't yeah. it? Because if we don't follow up, then not a lot happens. Right. That follow-up's probably going to take the form of a one-to-one meeting. How, how would, a couple of tips for that uh, for that one-to-one -one meeting, perhaps. You know, when you're going, to, you're going to go into a bit more detail now. Well, the key is to make a connection with the person. Well, they they will remember who you are. They'll remember what you do, and there'll be com there'll be a compelling reason for them to want to meet with you. Mm. If you go there just trying to sell, that they, they don't want to meet with you because they know you're going to pitch them. So instead, uh, find ways to help someone. Okay, if you can find some way to help someone, they'll want to meet with you. Give you an example. I went to a church event years ago, and it was one of those. Uh, it was in Southern California, beautiful sunny day, and um, I met somebody there who had been wanting to get to know for a long time. But here was a little more of a social environment, and uh, I started asking him questions. And I asked about his business, and I asked what his target market was, and uh, you know what a good referral. I asked all the questions that I just reviewed yeah. with you. And the last thing I said was, so what are some of the challenges you have? Yeah. And the amazing thing is if you build a rapport with somebody, they'll then tell you. You can't start off with, hey, Charlie, it's really nice to meet you. What, what are some of the challenges? Issues, yeah. yeah, you can't do that. So we, we got to that point and he told me, well, you know what? My biggest challenge is uh, getting uh, money to charitable organizations because we're a successful business now and I really want to give more money to charity. And um, I, I don't, I'm too small to have my own foundation and too big not to be doing charitable work as a company. Mm. And I'm struggling with how to make that happen. And I said, are you familiar with community foundations? They're all over the world. He said, no, what are they? And I said, well, you can create a fund in a big foundation. Uh, even though you're not big, you can be part of a big yeah. organization. And he was like, I've never heard of that. Are you familiar with one? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm active in one. He said, yeah. could you introduce me to somebody? Now, here we are at a church event. And a lot of people would say, well, you can't network at a church event, right? That's not right. You've got to honor the event. Yeah. So I wasn't walking around a church passing out business cards, right? I was talking to people. Yeah. And he says, do you have a business card? I would love to get introduced to them. Now, I, I gave him my card. I called him up a couple of days later. Did he take my call? Of course he did. Of course he did, because yeah. I found a way to help him. Help, yeah. And I made the introduction. Yeah. And if I wanted to do a one-to-one -one with him, he would have been happy to do that. We flip that on its head, usually. We're trying to sell. We're trying to get yeah. something, especially if you're networking up. We do that too yeah. much. I've certainly seen, seen it at networking events where you can just look at the look of surprise on people's face when you right. say, hi there, how are you? And how can I help you? And it's yeah. like, what? Well, hang on, yeah. that's caught them off guard just to, because they're not, they're not, they don't usually ask that question. Right. Yeah. Right. And you want to ask that question after you've asked a few others mm. so that you can find out who they are and what exactly. they do. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, you ask that question and it's amazing how... People do come up with something. Yeah, definitely. So you're talking there about networking at a church event. It's clearly yeah. then networking isn't just at formal business no. networking events. It's, Correct. It's, it's, it's a way of life. It's anywhere, isn't it? It's just talking to people. It's building relationships and seeing how you can help them, isn't it? Yeah. And, and the deeper you can go in those relationships, the more successful you're going to be. Mm. Uh, if your network is a mile wide and an inch deep, it's not going to be very successful. Yeah. So you need to have a broad network, meet a lot of people, but then you need to go deep in building connections with yeah. some people if you really want to get referrals on an ongoing yeah, basis. Absolutely.